Bonnie Remus IV. I have some things to share today about my thoughts on progression of government, what democracy can be based off of the technology that we have now, and just a non-judgmental look at what we can all do together and make this country a special place to live. Obviously, I'm starting with myself first, you know, doing my thing, you know, trying to build in towards the direction of me and then the next important thing to me, my, my wife, my mate, uh, you know, I think I'm headed in that direction if you watch any of my other videos. But, okay, so, what I want to see is myself smiling. In other words, I want to see light, I want to see people smiling, that's what I want, my conscious thought forms, my projections, my collective makeup to be like. Okay, what else? I'm reading through some notes here. Mm. Oh, you know, you know, use some mantras like "I will be with you, mate," like "I will be with you, mate," to like empower yourself if you're feeling like you might not have a soulmate. Okay, so the thing to ask for soulmates is. Where is your home? Where do you feel at home? It's a good question. You should both have the same answer, of course. Is it a particular state? Is it a particular... Excuse me, neighborhood? Oh. You know? Alright, so... I believe it's the government's job to take care of people who are struggling and in need. I believe the government should set up shelters designated for men and women and serve inexpensive vegetarian food with staples such as rice, beans, oatmeal, and vegetables uh, I just had a cool uh, idea of using vegetables like kale and then bananas and so on to create a you know a smoothie uh, pardon me if I sound a little disoriented. I'm, you know, it's early in the morning. I'm putting all my thoughts together here. So, what do I see happening in America using what we have? I see people voting on nationwide issues such as border reform, wartime situations, and you know, how to deal with uh, the needy, you know, is giving them a credit card with $300 or $1,000 on it, or a check, whatever, a good idea every month? I don't know. I think maybe these people might want to forfeit that money and go into a shelter, uh, which I believe would save the American taxpayers a lot of money. Now it's all about efficiency. If these people don't know how to use their money or they're using it towards unfavorable purposes, then well, what's the deal? Uh, a source to get protein, the hemp seed. Exciting, exciting. Uh, let me check my notes here. I think that's about all I have to share with you. Um, let's just say I will stop needing to be qualified and validated by others. 
uh, you know, hoping that somebody will say I'm successful or good or helpful. Who cares about proving or showing that I'm worthy? Who I am and what I'm doing is absolute, and I always gain from every experience. And and failure is is simply not trying. That's all. Now I'm not trying to prove anything, but it's about me trying to do something with my life and with my imagination. And I do what I do because I want to. And I listen to my feelings. I accept and validate myself for who I am and what I want. And I am okay with what I want. And I free others that I may be trying to control. And I just hold my own space. Not pretending to like them. For example, sitting at a table with another person simply because I don't want the person to feel bad if I leave. No, being responsible for my feelings and when I feel upset or angry, leaving the situation. For example, going on a jog. Uh, and there's this illusion I, I've experienced. Maybe you have too that, that I have everything that everyone needs. Everyone needs what I have, and I have, you know, to, to say they have others. Um, but let's go to the bottom line here, prince or princess. Uh, I'm doing this for my soulmate. And what about stuff out there? Well, what about stuff out there? You know, other people. Pure light. That's me. That's what is real. And I will simply work on my piece of reality. And what is right in front of me. You know. And what makes me passionate. Is my. Passion. My desire for. To be with another woman. <laughs> Suggesting that. I'm a woman. No, I'm kidding. I, 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 you know, I think this foundation of a strong family. You know, forget about for a moment. You know, helping the needy, or helping your kids, or anything. Just you for a second. Uh, the foundation, you know, of the family, of everything, is you. You know, branch out from you and your soulmate, and then everyone else, okay, later. And remember, what is the character that I put out on stage for what audience? You know, what character role am I playing? Am I playing relationship, uh, business, or personal? Is this person my family? Do they like my music? Do they like my type of food I eat? Like my lifestyle, my the way I dress, things to take into consideration. And I think that summarizes all of my thoughts here. It's been it's been good. It's been good sharing with you. And I encourage you to if you like these videos and you like the vibrational consistency of them or whatever, replay them. You know, let them enter into your consciousness so you don't have to worry about it, but let them kind of program you to be in that space. And, and hopefully I was able to help you and do some work for you so you can just enjoy the benefits of my research and sharing. It's been nice uh, being here with you, but as always, this, this video is really for me. It allows me to share information and therefore continue to adapt and move closer and closer to being with my soulmate. Because I assure you one day, 
even if I die in a crash tomorrow, one day you'll see me, the light, the divine bright white light that I am, shining through other people brightly as they conceive of me. And they will be uniting with their soulmates. In layman's terms, if I die tomorrow in a plane crash, me, John, there will be other people who will discover some of the things that I've discovered. And guess what? They won't be celebrating other people. They won't be feeling bad that I'm gone because they'll be looking for their soulmate. And... That's just the way it is, you know. That's why when I, when my soulmate dies, excuse me, I'm going to commit suicide humanely. I'm probably going to take a bunch of drugs and then uh, shoot myself in the forehead unless perhaps there is a new social structure in the future that will accommodate you know suicide once one's mate has passed um, you know perhaps some type of a special sacred uh, ritual in which other people help the person to commit suicide easily and peacefully because what's the point of being in your body if your mate is no longer there like this is my prime motivational factor and ask yourself this question what motivates you ask yourself this question what motivates other people around you something to think about I'd like to thank you for being here with me today. How do I know what I'm saying means anything to you? Uh, give me some feedback, whether it's uh, in support or advocating or not. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. And like my video or dislike it. Thanks again. Take care.